Photoshop has the ability to place both an embedded or a linked smart object. An embedded smart object has no connection with the original source file once it's placed into Photoshop. On the other hand, when you add a linked smart object to a Photoshop document, that linked layer is still connected to the original document. Let's take a look. First, I'll choose File, and then Place Embedded. I'll place the match.psd file, and then hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and just transform it a little bit smaller and move it over to the left, and then tap Enter or Return to apply that transformation. In order to make an edit to the contents of the Smart Object, I will double-click on the thumbnail in the Layers panel, and then I'll toggle off the visibility of the yellow flame, choose File, Save, and then File, and Close, and we can see that it's been updated in the parent document. Let's go ahead and save this document. I'll choose File, Save As, and then I'll just add an underscore 01, and click Save to save it as a layered Photoshop document. I'll use Command-Tab to go to Bridge, and we can see now that I still have the original match.psd file, and I have my clouds underscore 01 that has the embedded smart object. So even though I made a change to the embedded smart object, because it was embedded, it didn't change the original match.psd file. All right, let's use the boomerang to return to Photoshop, and this time I'll choose File, and then Place Linked. I'll place the match file again. I'll resize it down, holding down the Option key in order to resize from the center, and then just scoot it over to the right a bit, and tap Return or Enter to apply the transformation. On the Layers panel, I know this is a linked smart object because there's a different icon here, a link icon, as opposed to the embedded icon in the original smart object on the left-hand side. So let's edit the contents of the linked smart object by double-clicking on it. I'll toggle off the visibility of the orange and yellow flame, and then choose File and Save, and then File and Close, and we can see that it's been updated in the parent document. I'll choose File and then Save to update this document, and then let's close this document. When we return to Bridge, we can see that not only has the Clouds file been updated, but so has the linked Smart Object. Now let's take a look if we do the reverse. I'm going to double-click to open the match.psd file, and I'll enable the visibility of the yellow flame and the orange flame. Now I'll do a quick File Save, and then close this document. And when we return to Bridge, we can see that this Match document has been updated, but the Clouds document has not been automatically updated. And that's because you might not want it to be updated. But if I double-click in order to open up the Clouds document, we see that on the Layers panel, there's an exclamation mark, a warning that's telling me that the linked contents have been updated. And in order to fix that, I could just use Layer, and then Smart Objects, and then Update Modified Content. All right, let's save those changes by selecting File, and then Save. Now, there is one exception, and that's when both of the documents are open at the same time. I'll return to Bridge and then double-click on Match to open it. And let's go to the Window menu and choose Arrange, and let's just tile these. I'll click on the Clouds document and use Command- minus to zoom out so that we can see both documents. Then, in the Match file, I'm going to make a change to the orange flame. I'll toggle the visibility of it off, and then I'll choose File, and then Save. And because both of the documents are open, we can see that the change that I made to the linked smart object has been updated in the Clouds document. If you ever want to convert a linked smart object to an embedded smart object, let's select the Clouds file, make sure that the linked smart object is targeted on the Layers panel, and then choose Layer, and then Smart Object, and then Convert to Linked. I'll hold off on doing that right now because I also want to mention that if you need to hand off this Clouds file with the linked Smart Object, you'll also need to include that Match file. 
In this case, I would select File, and then Package. Photoshop will automatically create a folder. I'll click Choose, and if we return to Bridge, we can see that new folder. If I double click on it, we can see the Clouds 01 PSD, and if I double click on the Links folder, there is the linked Smart Object. All right, two shortcuts just before we wrap up. I want to mention that if you have Bridge and Photoshop open, you can drag an image from Bridge into an open document in Photoshop, and that will create an embedded smart object. But if you hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and you drag and drop a file from Bridge to an open document in Photoshop, that will create a linked smart object. By the way, those shortcuts will also work if you drag and drop from Lightroom into an open Photoshop document on the Mac. So there you go. That's the difference between an embedded smart object and a linked smart object in Photoshop. If you're interested in learning how to use Creative Cloud linked smart objects, that's going to be covered in the Libraries chapter later in this course.